Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be solving this question, the integral of x square cos inverse x dx. And we'll be solving it by parts. So let's begin. So the by parts rule helps us to separate the terms of the integral into two different terms. And the light rule helps us to decide which term we should keep as the first term and which term we should keep as the second term. Let me explain using the formula by, of the bypass rule. So the formula is u into the integration of v dx minus the integration of differentiation of u into the integration of v dx. So light helps us decide which term we should keep as u and which term we should keep as v depending on which term is easier to integrate and which term is easier to differentiate. So it's the order of preference for the first term. And once we select the first term, the second term automatically gets selected. So we have logarithmic, inverse trigonometric, algebraic, trigonometric and exponential. So this is the order in which we will decide the first term. So here the two terms of the integral are x squared and cos inverse x. Now we can see that inverse trigonometric comes after algebraic. x square is an algebraic term and cos inverse x is the inverse trigonometric term. Because it comes before algebraic, the inverse trigonometric term gets selected as the first term. Thus our u here is cos inverse x and v is the algebraic term which is x square. So now let's replace it in the bypass rule. So we have cos inverse x into the integration of x square dx minus the integration of differentiation of cos inverse x into the integration of x square dx. Now we know that the integration of x raised to n is x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1. So the integration of x square will be x raised to 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 which is x cube by 3. You know that if you differentiate this you will get x square. And the differentiation of cos inverse x is minus 1 upon root 1 minus x square. So now let's replace it in the formula. So we have x cube by 3 cos inverse x because we had the first term as cos inverse x, integration of x, x square, minus the integration of minus 1 upon root 1 minus x square into the integration of x square, which is again x cubed by 3 dx. So now we will do this part by substitution. So first of all, we have x cubed by 3 cos inverse x. I'm going to take 1 by 3 outside because it's a constant. So minus 1 by 3 into the integration of minus x cube upon root 1 minus x square dx. So now if I keep 1 minus x square as t, then dt by dx becomes 0 minus 2x. So dt upon minus 2x becomes dx. Now let's replace this. So we have minus x cube upon root of t into dt upon minus 2x. I can cancel one of the x and I can cancel the minus sign. So I have an x square in the numerator and I know that I can write x square in terms of t because 1 minus t will be x square. So I can get this entire integral in the form of t. So I have x cube upon 3 cos inverse x minus 1 by 3 integral of 1 minus t upon root t dt. And now I will separate this into two different fractions. Minus 1 by 3. So now I have 1 upon, I'm going to write root of t as t by t raised to half minus t upon t raised to half dt. I know that if I take this in the numerator, I will have a negative power and the integration of t raised to n will become t raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 as we saw previously. So we have x cubed by 3 cos inverse x minus 1 by 3 into the integration of t raised to minus 1 by 2 
and this becomes t raised to 1 minus 1 by 2 using the rules of indices. So now I have x cubed by 3 again cos inverse x minus 1 by 3 into t raised to minus half plus 1 upon minus half plus 1 minus t raised to half plus 1 upon half plus 1 because 1 minus half is half again. This is what we have now and don't forget plus t because the integration sign has been removed now. Okay, so this is what we have now. So we write this as this becomes t raised to half upon half, sorry, ignore that, minus t raised to 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2 plus c. So x cubed by 3 cos inverse x minus 1 by 3. I can take 1 by 2 in the numerator. So this becomes 2 root t minus, so 3 by 2 becomes 2 by 3 and t raised to 3 by 2 plus c. So now I'm going to replace t. So this becomes x cubed by 3 cos inverse x minus 2 by 3 root 1 minus x square minus minus becomes plus and 2 upon 3 into 3 which is 9. So t is 1 minus x square raised to 3 by 2 plus c right here. And we seem to have missed out on this term right here 1 by 2. So I have to add 1 by 2 here. I, have, I mean I have to multiply it over here. Right here again, one more time over here, and again over here. So, the, both of the 2's over here will get cancelled and we'll be left with 1. So, the final answer will be x cubed by 3 cos inverse x minus 1 by 3 root 1 minus x square plus 1 by 9 1 minus x square raised to 3 by 2 plus c. So we really need to pay attention to avoid this small mistake. And this is the final answer as given in the textbook. So that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.